Thanks for taking your time out of your day. Today we're going to learn how to install Splunk. First things first, go to your favorite browser. Go to google.com, let's say, and then type in Splunk. Most likely it's going to be the first website. Let's see, splunk.com, let's go to that one. Okay. What is Splunk? Well, you can read it for yourself if you want. You know, um, but basically, I guess it's like how I describe it. I wouldn't describe it necessarily as an intrusion detection system. I would, um, I would describe it more of like collecting data, um, metadata from logs from your servers. You know, um, what traffic you've been to on your server, your network, if you will. Um, you know, and different products that they have. For this regard, we're going to install Splunk Enterprise. Pretty nice tool. Um, so let's click Learn More. Free download. And it's good for 60 days usually, right? So you're just going to go to, we're going to download for Windows, click on the Windows, and we're going to download the, uh, let's check it out here. Oh, we have a 32-bit, we have Windows 2012 server, so we're going to download this one here. So I've already downloaded it already, so let's go ahead and install it. As you can see, I've downloaded it, put it on my server. That was a while ago that I downloaded it. I downloaded the older version, but nonetheless, it's the same thing. How to install it. We're just going over how to install it and looking at some of the things. It's very simple, very easy, very clean to install. It does a lot of things for your server. Um, we're going to install, let's check it out here. We're going to accept the license agreement and we're going to customize it. Um, Installation. Now you can put it on your D drive or your C drive. For this demo, we're going to just put it on the C drive, but typically you want to put it on a drive that, like any software that you install, you want to put it on a drive other than your C drive because you you know that those Windows Server patches, Windows patches in general, can fill up your C drive. So that's why you want to put it on your D drive or whatever other drive you have mapped or your secondary drive. So we're going to leave it as that, push next. We're gonna, uh, this machine is not on domain. We're gonna just do local system account for this tutorial. And we're push next. Create a shortcut on my start menu. Yes, and install. So now it's just validating its install going through a couple household cleanups on the program itself, what it does. I'm going to pause the video and uh, wait till it comes back to next. Okay, it's now has been completed, the installation, and we're going to click finish. We're going to launch the browser with the Splunk Enterprise. Okay is this, excuse me. Okay. Okay, we're going to add, add, close, ask me later. Well, let's see, what's this ask me later? I'm not only concerned with that right now. Okay, by default, What's going on here? By default, um, it's going to ask you, it's going to tell you the username and password, right? Change me. Change me. We're going to sign in and we're going to change the password. New password, whatever, secret scroll, you know, whatever password you want. Whatever you want. Name it. Yay, save password. No, I would not.
And here, you you know, you're new to Splunk. You can take a product tour. You can add uh, um, add data. You could you know add your your apps. Your uh, add apps to the Splunk. You know, we're not really concerned with all that right now. Um, but feel free to you know click on the product tours so that you know you can look at what's going on how it works maybe watch a couple of their videos if you will we'll go to search and reporting and um, first time that would you like to take a quick tour uh, again you can do it on your own if you want I'm not gonna waste your viewing pleasure for this and uh, let's go let's see here reports and you have um, your open errors in the last 24 hours. You have your alerts. That this is now, mind you, this is all from this server here. If this is like a domain account, you would set it up and you would add different uh, machines to it, whatever. But uh, this is just for this server here itself. I click on dashboards, and it'll give you like, of course, like SharePoint. Uh, skip that. I highly recommend watching some of those tutorials on the dashboard because you can get like the nice uh, pie chart, if you will, and you can go to some of the different things you want to click on, settings, um, data mo models, event types, tags, fields, lookups, uh, user interfaces, uh, alerts, that's a pretty good one, um, just a really nice tool uh, to play with. You know, and if you're looking, jobs. If you're looking for, um, if you're looking for a job in IT uh, under the like IA or, I guess information. What would it be called? What is it called? It's called not information security. Well, I guess you could call it information security. You you could you could call it um. What do they call those, those people? Um, I, yeah, information insurance guys. That's it. Yeah, that's that's the one. If you're looking for a job as an information insurance person, um, basically what they do in, in the real world is they use Splunk or any other type of um, product like Splunk, and they look at the logs and say, um, "Hey, this is the log tells me. This is the alert tells me," and then they pass it on to their uh, people that they work with, and and they they use this data to, to track uh, trends. So like typically. You know what are you using this for in the real world? You use Splunk to um, gather logs. Let's say two months uh, prior to a, um, uh, let's say something happens, an incident happens, right? Well, they use Splunk and they say, okay, let's go back and look at when did it really start happening? You know, when did that incident start happening? Maybe, you know, um, I don't know. There's there's a hacker logged in or something I have no idea whatever the whatever they want to look at right they can usually uh, the backup admin will save the logs for the past you know three months or whatever so they can go back and say okay this is this is what happened you know for the past three months based on these logs that's that's really what uh, Splunk's for you know just to track and also, also it'll um, it'll alert as well the users what's going on anyway um, this concludes the tutorial small tutorial short tutorial on uh, Splunk and uh, what it can do and uh, feel free against to log on to Splunk.com download it yourself and try it out. Uh, thank you